update uh, video here. So, uh, I don't even remember what I talked about in the first video, how bad it looked, but done a decent amount of work on the basement. All these stairs used to be completely covered in shit, now they're starting to be covered in stuff as I'm kicking up things. But uh, if you remember, or I'm sure you remember, you were just watching this all in one go, that uh, this door down here didn't even close. The door was like swollen, so it was being uh, held open, or held shut, I guess rather, by a cinder block in the garage, so not very secure. So my buddy Cooley and I were able to put this in. Uh, it actually went surprisingly easy. I haven't painted the trim and stuff yet, but um, just had to shim it up a little bit. This window, uh, this was all kind of busted out and had plastic over it and whatever, so I, I don't know anything about windows or really anything about anything. So I went to Menards and uh, when I gave them the measurements, I gave them center block to center block because that's what they said they needed. And then as I thought about it more, there's like a wood border, like a frame or whatever that was already put in there. So uh, then I called them back and it's a long story, but they ended up ordering the window and I didn't tell them to order the window and blah, blah, blah. And I get it and it says it's supposed to be 75, which that would have been really tight, but it would have fit, but it was like 75 and a quarter. So like it didn't even fucking fit. So then I had to take out all the wood that was in the center block and uh, redrill new wood into the center block. And it was a big, big prog process and uh, probably shouldn't have been nearly that hard, but uh, it's in now sealed up. So I've got the, the basement sealed up. Soften and fascia, I'm not completely done because I got to redo uh, this roof still, but did soffit all the way around the house. That was kind of plan, uh, big thing number one, because there were raccoons that were in the fucking attic. And uh, so we got rid of them. And then I spent the next couple weeks uh, figuring out how to do the soffit. Once I got it figured out uh, with some friends of, of how to get it done, it went pretty quick, but um, it was a little bit of a learning process. Just recently did the porch. This was all open before. Uh, I'm gonna have somebody come paint these poles, pylons or whatever. I started to paint this one the other day and then I realized that painting like really, really sucks. So I stopped. Uh, but soffit, wood fascia, aluminum fascia, done all the way around here. This window uh, still needs to be redone, but at least it, it closes and uh, is secure ish this window was all boarded up and uh had like plywood coverings and blah 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 so um we i measured instead of getting a custom window i just uh measured the opening and i picked i got a 24 a 32 and a 24 and uh they actually fit pretty good i had to put some uh, you know board framing around there to kind of bridge the gap a little bit I still need to put the trim piece in here. I uh, haven't done that yet, but overall it came out pretty easy. And I saved myself like a hundred bucks on not getting a giant custom window. So the window in the front of the garage is the same size. So that'll be easy when I uh, go to do that. This, my garage right now is like a tool shed. Uh, next on the project list is to put a flat ceiling in here. Uh, the attic where the raccoons and stuff were all open up there we had somebody come and suck out the insulation i was gonna do it myself and then with as much i mean they had to have raccoons up in there for years uh there was just a ton of raccoon shit literally up in there so we had uh professionals come in and do it and they thought it was going to be like two to four like of the big bags uh, of the insulation and it ended up being like 10. Uh, so we had a big dumpster out here and I, uh, I was throwing in a bunch of stuff from the barns and other things. And I guess some chemicals somehow mixed together. I still don't know, but the dumpster then caught on fire and started, it's kind of hard to see, but like the tree limbs, like right there, uh, got a little singed and whatever. Luckily I didn't burn my house down or unluckily, I don't know, I guess depending on how you're looking at it, but um, didn't get, uh, that didn't go well and then they wouldn't come take it when they came to pick it up because it was smoking again the fire department came blah 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 um so inside here ripped out all the carpet i still need to go through and do the little tedious pulling up all the 
staples and everything to get it completely flat. Um, the laundry room took out, I gave away all the appliances, somebody, there's some mess that was underneath there that I ripped out that sink. So if you remember, this is going to get walled off here and then I'll have a utility sink here, washer dryer or washer dryer, whatever, and then keep that toilet there as a half bath. Started to demo the kitchen a little bit. That was a little raccoon demo there. The babies were up in there, so I cut it out and was able to take them out. Uh, but again, got rid of all my appliances. Uh, here, ripped the floor up. Uh, same, same thing in these rooms. I ripped all the carpet out. Back room, carpet's gone again. Need to go through and clean up all the other stuff. Haven't really done anything other than throw out all the random stuff they had in the drawers here in this bathroom. But, um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, that's, those are the big things down in the basement. It was fairly damp down here. And part of this is because I don't have any gutters on the house still. Uh, but now that I've got the fascia 90% done and got this window in, it's still kind of wet here. I I concreted uh, the area right outside the window sill because it was this open center block. So these are just like filling up with water. So I'm hoping that that eventually goes away. And then uh, once I get gutters, so it stops pouring water down there, that'll help. Got a dehumidifier. It was at 95 the other day. It was full and now it's down to 71. I think it's set to be at 45. So it's still got quite a ways to go and there's still, uh, some wet spots, but overall, not terrible down here. This will eventually be finished at some some point. I need to sell that still. Um, we can go out here to the barn. I'll show you what I've done there. So originally, I plan on building a pole barn out there. I still will, but these barns, um, the more I clean them up and stuff, have actually are, are not in bad shape. They just look a little rough, um, some aspects of them, but I'm gonna cover, so the this roof of that barn, that aluminum uh, roofing is what I'm gonna use to put along the side of this barn. I've, I still need to do some buttoning up of uh, things like that window has a little crack out of it there I need to fix that and then board up these little doors and stuff so animals and whatnot don't get in this big window here it used to just kind of flap in the wind and uh, I got rid of the rotted wood put more boards down there I made my own little plexiglass window to replace that one and then secured it so it's not flapping around anymore but it's got a good it's got cracks whatever but it's got a good flooring in here electricity and uh, I think this will probably end up being my wood shop at some point. Uh, go over here to the barn. So this first bay had a ton of shit in here. Cleaned it out, bought a trailer. Uh, but it's a pretty big area. This back all needs to be replaced. If this wasn't here, this thing just like waves in in the wind. So. That whole part has to go back there. I'll talk about that more in a second when I go around. And then the middle part of the barn is where my buddy can hopefully park his big ass truck that I'm letting him park in there. But uh, in this barn, cleaned out a bunch of stuff. And then up there, I pulled out like 600 pounds of scrap metal that I got $18 for. But um, there were raccoons up there at some point and uh, got rid of a bunch of shit and whatever up there. Um, my plan is to disassemble this whole thing. There's no point to that. And that's just a spot for animals to get and whatever. So um, maybe that wood will be useful somewhere for some other project, but it serves no purpose up there. So I'm gonna get rid of that, put a door on there, put a door on the other side. Um, this one, they all need new overhead doors. I'm thinking since this truck's gonna be pretty wide, that it may be better parked on that side. And I may get a roll-up door, because I think I have the room um, to get rid of that style and put a roll-up door on there. 
back here for whatever reason is still mud they concreted the other one all the way to the back but this one's mud so uh, once i get this back wall secured which again this is kind of flapping around then uh, i'll frame this and just rent a little mixer and pour that concrete then i got a little concrete pad out here and my plan is to put a deck out here so maybe like i don't know 12 feet 14 feet high or something like that have an elevated uh, little Uh, just like a, an elevated deck and then I'll maybe have a roll-up door there or a traditional garage door there so I could pull a car out on this thing if I needed to for some reason to get it out of the way but um, I want to use this as a, a tall tall patio because I feel like just being up is cool and uh, have a staircase or whatever on that far side and uh, those are the current current plans I haven't paid anybody to come do anything yet other than removing the raccoon uh, insulation so I've saved a ton of money uh, thousands of dollars doing this stuff myself nothing has been super easy nothing has been super quick but um, you know it's YouTube has been really helpful with figuring out how to do things and uh, getting buddies to come over and help with different things and whatever so it's coming along pretty good still got a lot of work to do right now I'm working on digging a trench to bury my sep or, uh, sump pump line that comes out of the ground over there and it's just been laying on top of the ground so that works now but come winter time that'll be a problem with that freezing so gonna try and get that buried underground somehow and ideally trench it underneath the driveway and have it spit out I don't know, somewhere in the grass over there um, I'm waiting on it's been raining like every day so as soon as the rain stops I've got a buddy that's gonna come and gravel my driveway so all the way to the road over there, down through here, all this to the road. And then also basically this whole like grass area here that leads up to all three bays of the barn will be graveled. And then the center of the barn is also going to be graveled. I was going to do concrete, but one problem is that if I pour it four inches, which is all I need, and then I drive a cement truck on it to pull my pole barn out here, they're going to destroy it. So do I really want to pour six inch now no i mean i guess they could pull through the grass and just rut that up and shit. i don't know but um either way i gotta put a rock base down whether i'm gonna concrete now or concrete later so i think uh that'll just be the first step save a little little money by not concreting now or asphalting or whatever i'm gonna do and just uh see where it goes but that's kind of a what am i at five weeks five week update what i've accomplished it doesn't seem like a ton. I've thrown out burnt hella shit. Uh, they left a couple dressers and other stuff. I sold a dresser the other day and I'm selling another one today. Another one tomorrow. So, uh, not for much, but but it's something. And then I gotta probably worry about these trees. I feel like if something can happen, it will happen in this house considering. So, uh, I probably need to take off this massive, uh, massive branch before you know, I complete everything in my house and then the tree falls and just completely destroys it. So, uh, that I got to think about. And then uh, mowing sucks. Luckily, my dad's been coming over and helping mow a lot. And he's got a little bit bigger mower than what I bought. And uh, he zips around here, but it still takes quite a while. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get, get some cows or something like that. And they can just roam around here and eat the grass. So, I don't have to worry about it. But, like I said, this will all be graveled leading up and then at some point the pole barn will go out here it'll probably be next summer unless i decide to do it over the winter but most of the shit i'm doing is going to take all of the summer i haven't even moved in here yet because i, I don't have hvac or any of that shit so uh i'm still living in my other house but the uh the amount of money that i'm saving by doing these things myself is more than paying for the mortgage payment so yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep working away, keep chipping away. Every day I come up with like a new project that like I need to get done. Uh, I'm kind of at the mercy of some of my friends to come help me with some things because it's just a pain in the ass to uh, like doing the fascia boards, the 16 foot boards, like impossible to hold up perfectly straight and uh, get it screwed in. But the aluminum fascia, I did that uh, all myself and that wasn't hard because it was really light. But uh, 
going to have somebody come help me with my uh, whatever this is, porch. So right now this has a one car, deep one car, but I've had thoughts of bumping that side out and whatever, but again, in the interest of money spent and whatever, uh, I've decided against that for now. But if this was out like another four feet, then you could get out of the car if it was raining or whatever and not, you know, get wet. So I think I'm gonna bump, I can still pull up, but I don't want it like to be so close where I'm gonna run into my house or some stupid shit. So, um, I think I'm gonna bump it out just between the second pylon and this pylon, like five feet. I gotta take this whole section off. I don't know why there was no, you know, gutter. So the, the board, the fascia board that was on there just rotted. And I think that, you know, carried under and rotted all this out. The rest of it is all good. It's just this front foot and a half that's all like rotted out. So all that's gotta come off. Roof's gotta come off. It doesn't have a very big pitch. So I may be doing a rubber, roof on it instead uh, I don't think it's been a huge problem uh, it doesn't leak anywhere but uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get up there and start taking those shingles off but uh, the plan is to to take this out another like four feet or something just in this whatever it is 14 foot section and uh, then leave the other part alone and then I can when I'm done with that I can finally put the rest of the aluminum fascia around here over the garage and then I can call the dude to come do my gutters and, uh, and then be done with that. So that's my, I think I already said this once, my five week update. But uh, stay tuned. Hopefully next time I've got a, a lot more stuff done.